Hey there, once again, internet friends. It is me, Brandon Hart, the EcoStruder, and we have another thoughts video for you. Uh, my thoughts on this machine, the Creality CR10 Smart. Would buying this machine be a smart decision? Let's talk about it. Oh, uh, yes, so let's talk about the CR10 Smart, the supercar of 3D printers, the smartest of the CR10 family. The, it's just a dressed up CR6. I, I mean, <laughs> look, it is a Creality CR6 with a few extra little bits and bobs added to it. So let's talk about maybe some things that are good, maybe some things that are bad, maybe even some ugly. Yes, let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of the CR10 Smart. So first off, we have to address the fact that this thing does print very well. This is just really, really nice print quality. It's also very quiet, extremely quiet while it is printing uh, to the point where I'm not even sure the print has started. That assumes, of course, that you don't have one of the touch screens that just beeps the entire time that the machine is printing, uh, which we did have. This particular machine experienced that issue. We'll get to that. The whole machine is very, very well built in terms of being sturdy. We've got the fun named Creality Golden Triangle supports here. And those do a very, very nice job in making sure that everything is very sturdy as the machine is printing. Um, I mean, this bed, I could lift the whole machine up by the bed. I, I will not do that, but I could lift the entire machine up by this bed and it would be perfectly fine. It would keep printing. Everything would be great. Nothing to complain about as far as how the machine is built mechanically um, and how it performs when you can get it to print but that does take me into the bad portion of my thoughts video here. And that is the firmware. The firmware is just not good. I wish it was. This particular machine I mentioned came back with a screen that was beeping. Um, I don't know whether that was firmware. I think it was more of a hardware problem with the touch screen on this particular unit. We flashed the firmware multiple times. Sometimes that worked, sometimes it didn't. We flashed the firmware for the machine, older versions, newer versions, hacked versions, trying to get a good combination of touchscreen and printer firmware that worked. We have the machine in working order. It printed uh, quite a lot of things. I mean, really quite, quite good things. Very, very nice prints. But um, because of the very, very nice uh, load cell bed leveling system here. Uh, it does make it a little bit hard to modify. This is a machine that is going to be hard to convert to direct drive. This is a machine that's gonna be hard to put whatever hot end on there you might actually be uh, wanting to use instead of the stock Creality ones. Um, so that is a little bit of an issue. So there are a few things that are necessary to address on this machine. Now, we do have to get into the ugly and Again, this is my own personal opinion, uh, but I gotta say one of the worst things about this machine is the thing that gives it its name. It's smarts. The smart aspect of this machine is a built-in Creality Wi-Fi box. Uh, you can see the uh, interface, the USB, which is a USB port only for use with the Creality Wi-Fi Box's proprietary camera. That goes right in here on the side. We won't get super deep into the whole uh, breaking down of the Creality Cloud and why it's not something I really ever wanna use again. It's uninstalled from my phone and I'm happy about that. So if you take that out, the CR10 Smart is really just kind of a CR6 in a CR10 sized frame. And honestly, that's not a bad thing. Sort of related to that is the idea of this um, integrated electronics down here on the bottom. Uh, I personally like having enclosures around my machine whenever possible so that I can print 
other materials and not have to worry about drafts coming by. If you have integrated electronics into the machine itself, your control board, you know, everything else that's inside of here, those are generating heat and they can overheat if you're not careful. You put them in an enclosure to keep the heat in, you don't want the heat in for your electronics. So that can be a bit of an issue. So if you were going to get yourself a CR10 Smart, there are a few things I would recommend that maybe you consider doing. Maybe swapping out the carborundum glass bed for uh, you know, one of the magnetic PEI flex plates. I would also consider maybe swapping out the stock white PTFE with some higher quality Capricorn. I think one of the all metal hot ends would be a great idea. This particular one is a micro Swiss all metal hot end. Probably one of my favorite upgrades would be the brand new LGX Lite from Bontech. These things are so small. This includes the stepper motor and everything in this little package right here. You can actually set this up with a little perch, they call it, right above the print head. And you can have a sort of a pseudo direct drive setup by having this sitting right on top of there. You can eliminate that extruder that I don't really care for too much and also switch it from Bowden to, again, sort of a sort of direct drive with that print head right above there and still get the auto leveling functionality. Um, those are some of the upgrades I would do. They're certainly not upgrades that everybody needs to do. Again, the machine prints very, very nicely on its own. Um, so that's, those are some of my thoughts about the Creality CR10 Smart. It's a great performing machine. It's got a few quirks. Um, for $500 as stock, maybe there are other machines out there that you might want to consider instead of this one. Um, with the upgrades, you know, we're, we're talking like a $700 machine when it's all said and done. And for that money, I feel like there might be better options. However, those other options may not be a supercar inspired 3D printer. Yes. The team at Creality uh, claims that this is a supercar inspired design. I, I don't know if I see that necessarily, but it is, uh, that is something they're claiming. And you know what? We can do this. We can make this a supercar inspired 3D printer. Check this out. How about that for a supercar inspired 3D printer? You're, you're welcome to take notes, Creality. Uh, okay, so with that being said, um, this is, again, it's a decently performing 3D printer. It's, uh, it's certainly capable of, of popping out some really, really nice prints, but there may be better options for you, including maybe the CR6 or the CR6 Max that this one is sort of very similar to. So with that being said, if you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up down below, uh, throw your thoughts in the comments. We would love to see what everybody else is thinking about these machines. Do you have one? How does yours work? Did you have any of the firmware issues that we had? Uh, do you like using the Creality Cloud? Let us know what you think. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe there will be more thoughts videos like this one. Maybe there'll be more eco-friendly 3D printing coming up. Maybe we'll do something completely different but you won't know unless you subscribe. Click the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. And until then, have fun printing. <laughs>